All right, guys, uh, we're gonna do a quick install video for the Level Smart by H2 Flow. Uh, what we got here is this is the equipment pad that, we, that we're looking at right here. Behind me here is the, the pool that we're actually gonna be putting the sensor in, and we're gonna be maintaining that pool level. So uh, if you come over here, you can take a look. We got our return lines. It's, we plumbed our valve into the return lines of the pool uh, in between the filter and the heater here. Um, so we just teed it in. We have one inch female threaded on entry and exit of this valve that comes in the kit. Uh, we got our water supply here, which is uh, this hose. It goes to a water spigot right around the corner here. And we're just, it's just on a, a normal water spigot with a, with a splitter. So we have a designated uh, piece of hose to supply our water to the autofill line. Um, and so now that we have the valve installed, we're just uh, gonna run through setting up the controller, getting the sensor installed and paired and so forth. So if you come with me over here, we have a power supply. This power supply, is, it's a three pin plug. We're just gonna plug it in here. Um, it's a 24 volt transformer, which here I'll pop it out this way for you. This is the transformer here, two pin plug. And if you look at it from this view, this is the two pin plug from the controller that we have that's gonna live right there. So um, we're just gonna plug this guy in we're gonna tuck it between here for installation reasons and plug that in. So now it is plugged in. If you take a look over here, all the lights are flashing. So it's in pairing mode. It's looking for a sensor to pair with right now. Um, we got our wire that is gonna go down to the valve. And then we have the power line here, which is already plugged in. And so, Next, next uh, step is we're just gonna attach the antenna. This antenna tip is six feet long. It's a T-bar antenna. There's a sticky pad on the back. We're just gonna screw this guy into the bottom of the controller. Right here. And we are going to let this sit right here just for now. We'll come back to that later. And then, so now that we have that all set up, it's looking for a sensor to pair with, we're gonna actually attach the valve wires to the valve. And, and in the kit is your accessory pack. We have these two wire nuts here. We're gonna utilize these guys to get them attached. And so if you come with me down this way, we'll make that happen. I'm just gonna undo this guy. And we're gonna run this down here. And we're gonna go underneath all this just for, oh, it's kind of harder to see for you guys, but for the installation, it makes more sense. And when we're doing this, it's, it's important to note that it doesn't matter if it's red on red or black on red, it doesn't matter. You can go to either one to either one. It's gonna be totally fine. It's alternating current. So we're gonna just twist that up real nice. Make sure it's all bonded really well. And then get this guy on there. And then the same thing with this one. So as you can see, we're moving pretty quick through this. It's a very simple install. Hardest part is going to be getting that valve installed. But once you do, it's very quick. And so here's our second one, same thing. Just get these things attached. All right. Now that they're both tight, we can see that our controller is attached to our valve at the moment. So um, we are all good there. And after this, we are going to go to the pool. Uh, we get the sensor out of the box and we can take our epoxy with us. So we're gonna leave the antenna tip there for now. I'm actually gonna drop it. So this is actually very important. Now that we're gonna start the pairing side of things, we wanna make sure our antenna tip is eight to 12 inches away from any metal. So since it was tucked in like that, we don't like that. We're actually gonna just let it drop here for now, um, just for the pairing purposes here. Before we install it, we wanna make sure that it's, it's in a good spot before we stick it to the wall, maybe up here or something like that. So come with me, we're gonna to go to the pool. And as you can see, it's a, it's a fairly, it's a decent pool. Um, the level smart can it can accommodate up to you know large commercial pools that can go all the way down to small spas things like that um, 
In this case, we have two skimmers. We like to install this on this in the skimmer throat, on the entryway to the skimmer on the flat surface. We have a skimmer here. We have a skimmer over there as well. Um, in this case, since the house is looking out this way, we're gonna actually install it on this side so we don't really have to see this or notice the sensor. Uh, although it is a small sleek sensor, it's just kind of uh, preferred. So what we're gonna do is, now that the controller is actually in pairing mode and it's looking for a sensor to pair with, I'm just gonna take this magnet off of the sensor and it's gonna see three green flashes out of the top there. We're just gonna make sure that these two communicate successfully between here and there. So I'm gonna leave this right here and we're gonna give it about two and a half minutes to go through that pairing process. And so that uh, we both know that it's gonna communicate success successfully in the position that it, it's gonna live in, which is right in here on the side of the skimmer. So uh, we're gonna just sit back and let it pair for now. All right, so it's been about, it's been two and a half minutes. We have a solid green sensor light on the controller. If you can zoom in and get that, make sure that we can see it and understand it. Um, and so even though this does not see the pool, it's still paired successfully on the first try. So these can go, it can go around the corner, it can go through walls. I always recommend trying to get it, you know, as close to the corner as possible and things like that. Um, but, uh, you know, just, it's always better the closer, the, the closer the better in general. Um, and so now we know that, we, that this is all paired successfully. What I'm going to do here is I'm just gonna mount this guy right up here and give this oh you guys get the point we'll get that to stick perfectly later um, but now now that we successfully paired it we know that that sensor is going to be safe to install in that skimmer so that's that's what we're going to do next all right so now that they're paired successfully we are going to install this here i uh, got the epoxy that came in the kit and so what we're going to do is we're just going to, there's plastic film on it, you take it off. What I recommend as well when you're doing this is you have to make sure your water level is at the level that you want it to maintain. Um, it just helps in setting your water level and stuff, which is our next step after we do this. Um, but uh, we're going to make sure we net the epoxy really well and make sure we really get it, get it going so it really get the catalyst and hardens and adheres the way we want it to. And then we're gonna get our sensor and we're simply just gonna put it all the back of the sensor here. Just try to get a nice even coat, push it around. And you don't have to move too fast on this, just it's more about making sure it's netted well, mixed well, so that it gets a good stick to the side of the skimmer here. So, if you walk around and you can maybe hopefully see what we're doing here, we're just gonna put it on the, on the uh, entryway to the skimmer. So this is the set level that we want. We want that set level to sit about half an inch to an inch up on the sensor. And so that's what I'm aiming for when I do this. So make sure you install it in the right area. And you just press down, kind of wiggle it into place. Give it some really good pressure. And so I got about a half an inch into the water here. And if you can zoom in on that to any measure, get a good look at that. Sometimes you might want to hold it up to a minute to really just make sure it's sticking. Uh, in this case, it kind of, it, it, it felt good. So I left it pretty quick there. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Once we do have it here, we're gonna take the magnet because now what we need to do is we need to set the water level. So it's already paired up. We just need to set the level so that this sensor knows that this is the level that you want it to maintain. <sighs> we're gonna take the magnet and we're simply just gonna put it on the etching on the sensor here for about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Remove it. There's a green light on there that's gonna flash three times. That's indicating that it understands it needs to calibrate to your level now. And so that's what it's doing. And if we go back to the controller, we can see it there. And 
All right, and so now that we're back here, the sensor light is going to be flashing. That's indicating that it's calibrating to that level. It's setting your water level right now. So that's a good sign. It's going to do that for probably about a minute or so. Um, and then one, after that, you're either going to have a solid green sensor light, which indicates you're all done and everything's perfect, or it might even give you a fill period for seven minutes. In the event it gives you a fill period, that's totally perfect. It's just showing you that the valve is working, the valve is connected. It's gonna put water in it and it's gonna shut off after seven minutes. So it's kind of just kind of like a, a double check that what you've done is complete, the circuits are complete, and, um, and you're all set. So uh, this is pretty much it. Then we just have to tidy up with the antennas and, and the little things with zip ties and things like that to make sure the install is totally complete. And we can call it a successful installation.